All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with Irie AT, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this. This guy right here is the Read It Air from Vision 8 International out of the UK. It's a really cool camera device that you can plug into a laptop, use it with software to then scan OCR, have it large print, high contrast, have it read to you, or take notes as well, which is a pretty cool feature. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead, dive down, open it up, see how she works. All right, so here we are up close with the Read It Air inside the box. So just taking a quick look around the packaging, we got some Vision 8 International brand, uh, company contact information. Uh, it's on the top, it says, stop struggling to start reading. On the sides here, we just have some branding, the serial number, a barcode, branding, website on that side. Same thing on the other side, nothing to see on the bottom. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. Open up. There we go. All right, so the first thing you get on top is all this uh, literature here. So first of all, you have a couple different um, keyboard shortcut guides right here, which are really handy. They even come laminated for you, so you can keep them for your reference or keep them handy and they'll stay nice because of lamination. Um, and again, those have all your keyboard shortcuts right there on them. So let's go ahead and set those over to the side. Here's our, your distributor information. So this is who you're gonna call for support and that is us here at Irie. And then you get the Read It Air hardware user manual here. So that's for the hardware piece itself. And then you also get the Read It software manual, which is how you're gonna pretty much drive this device. And so anything, everything you need to know about the software is inside this manual somewhere. So you also get a free pair of headphones. Let's see, this is a little alignment tool. So you just set your Read It Air inside there, align the uh, left-hand side of your document up there, and then it's in the perfect scanning position. So we'll, when we set this up, I'll put this in place too. And then we get a USB extender, which is kind of handy. Here is our Read It Air right there. Let's take the sleeve off of that. There's our Read It Air, just unfolds just like so, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side and we are gonna plug that in and set it up in just a minute. Also get a nice little padded carrying case here. And what else? Oh, this is pretty neat. You actually get like a nice little reading mat. So you can plug your, stick your read air right in that right there. And then there's a little mat for you to put your reading material on. That's kind of nice. And then last but not least, we get a CD with our software on it right there. And then that, yep, that's it. That's all that's inside the box. Okay, so got my read air out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up my laptop or a computer and I'm gonna set this read air up so we can see how it works. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we're back with the Read It Air. I've gone ahead, I've set everything up. I got a computer monitor, I got a mouse and keyboard down here, I got a speaker for our audio, and I've set up the Read It, Read it Air itself. Um, I've also put that little document alignment tool I spoke about during the unboxing underneath there. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a document. In this case, I just got the user manual out real quick to read. And you just line it up with this left-hand edge here um, and right here. And uh, when you do that, it's in the perfect position on screen, you'll see here, to scan that page. So let's go ahead and scan this. And you'll capture. see everything's right inside the window, the capture window there, because I just lined it right up with the right hand side, or excuse me, left hand side there. Recognizing. Six S. Patience. Okay, I'm just gonna pause that real quick. Um, so it does automatically start reading for you when after you um, scan something in. Of course, you can turn off the voice if you want to or turn down your volume, either one. Um, but I'm gonna pause it because I want to talk rather than have it read at the moment. So um, I forgot to also mention that there is a little switch up top here and you can turn on and off an LED light for extra lighting on your document right there. Um, so, okay, so let's go ahead and go through the Read It software real quick. So this toolbar right up here is where you're gonna mainly be using everything. I'm just gonna go through here with my mouse and show you what they all do. So first of all, we have capture, which is what we just did. So you put a document underneath here, press that capture button. There also is a keyboard shortcut for that. Um, you capture it, it brings it up. It, uh, it, it does a nice little shutter noise, letting you know it took the picture. And then it says recognizing, which means it's doing the OCR process, uh, which means it will then read to you once it's done with that. And then it begins to read your document. So our next option here is to scan. So rather than using the Read It Air, you could use like a flatbed scanner too and scan documents in that way. I think personally the Read It Air itself is a little more handy than using a scanner. Um, and of course you get it with this whole package. So, um, but you could use a scanner if you wanted to independently of the Read It Air. Uh, we also have an option to add annotations here or, or notes to our document. So 
Once we have a document in here and we've scanned it, we can always add notes. So I'm gonna click this on this, on this annotation button here. I'm gonna add a note. Annotation. I'm gonna say, um, this is an, oop. Well, if I could type here, this is a note. So I added a note there, and now I could actually save this file together with my note, and it will save it all together in one file. It will already be OCR'd for you, so if you need to bring this document back up at any time or whatever document you've actually scanned and OCR'd, it will already be pre-OCR'd for you, so it's going to be ready to read just like that, and it will have any sort of notes you've added attached. Um, I can also increase my note size or my the font of my note size here, so if I want to make that larger, I can do that, or I can make that smaller, whatever size we prefer. This is a note. You can also click on this button, which will then actually read you back your note that you've added, and you can delete that note as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my note section. And even though I closed out of it, you'll notice if I go back to my notes here, Annotation. it still has my note. note in there. It actually saved it for me. So I could go ahead and delete that note, of course, if I want to, but now even if I've closed out the annotation windows just to get the full screen of my document here, it does retain your notes. So our next option here on the, on the, uh, on the menu bar is uh, our view mode, and we can switch back and forth between our document view and what they call virtual X and Y, which essentially virtual X, Y is just the live image view here. So I'll just switch here to virtual X, Y. Virtual X, Y mode. And you'll see here, I can wave my hand underneath there. Oh, it was a little blurry there, but um, you can switch between that and your, scan, mode. and your scan document. Moving on here, we have plus and minus resuming in and out. So we can press on the plus button to zoom in, minus button to zoom out, just like that. Moving on, we have color modes here, so we can do full color, enhanced grayscale, or binary. So let's say we do enhanced grayscale. Enhanced scale. grayscale. It shows us here high contrast, white on black. We can also click this invert color button here. Invert colors. And it will switch it to high contrast, black on white, just like that. Invert colors. I'm gonna go back to the regular color mode. Color. Um, additionally, you can go to here, and there's what they call visualizations, which is, um, it's actually just a whole bunch of different view modes for your document. So you could do the original image here, which, I, which is what I'm on currently or you could do the original image with overlay digital text like overlay. this. And you'll notice here it's overlaid my text right there in digital text. And the, and the plus side to digital text is um, oh. with digital text, you can actually zoom in much, much further on it without your text degrading on you on the original image. As you zoom in, um, that image will degrade, especially at high zoom. So uh, being able to digitize your text means that you can zoom in to a very, very high level um, and it won't lose any sort of clarity. So our next option here I just switched to is column, which essentially just turns everything into purely digital text so you don't retain any of your original image um, and it puts it all in columns for you. We also have just one line Horizontal. of digital text like this. We could do one vertical Vertical. column like this and it will scroll for you as it reads or we can also do Vertical. one word. So let's back, go back here to just one line Horizontal. of digital text and let's have this read to us for just a second so you can get an idea how it would read and how it will scroll along with one line here. It allows you to make notes within your documents on a particular sentence. These can be ideal for revision purposes or simply if you need to note something important down that relates to the sentence you're reading. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause that. But as you can see, it will scroll along that line for you just like that. Now I'm gonna switch back to my original image, image here. And then I'm gonna show you another mode that you can read in too. So here you have your document window. And if I double click with my mouse inside there, you'll notice my mouse pointer turns to this high contrast blue. And you can actually edit that, high con that color too that your mouse is. Anyway, I can scroll around my document here just by moving my mouse around. And if there's a place I wanna start reading, like uh, let's say right here, I'll just double click on when. Shown, the annotation window appears below the document window. And then uh, I can then I can click anywhere with my document to pause it, or I can also press the space bar to play and pause my reading as well. And then if I want to get out of this document window, I just press the alt button wow. and it frees up my mouse button to go back to clicking on any of these icons up here. So my last few on this bar up here are um, going paging forward and paging backwards and then play and pause in the center of those. Um, again, if I do have my mouse in the document window, I can press the space bar to play and pause. And there are a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts that you can use to control all of this. Um, and also there, you can really customize your user interface here for the Read It software as well. If you go into the tools here to options, we can actually go in here. Options. And we can do things like- um, Visualizations. We can change our appearance. Earth. So right now our preferred high contrast mode is black on white, but we can actually Their combination. choose between black on white. a whole bunch of different other ones. So let's say we want to choose black on white, white for on example, black. we could do that. 
We can go into um, our controls and change our cursor color here. So that's our, both um, our mouse pointer and our highlighter. We can change it to a different high contrast color if we want. Interface. We can also go to our interface here and we can actually choose the font size that shows our, in our menu. So all like file, edit, view, all those menus up there, we can choose the font size that's shown there. And we can also choose our icon size. Um, and depending on like your monitor, you might want to make those larger or smaller, but you can choose between several that's different size. icon sizes Extra here large. to um, fit your preferred uh, size there. And you can also choose your language and the voice and all that kind of stuff as well. Let's go ahead and exit out of there. Okay, and now I switched my high contrast mode to that black on white. And you notice it didn't really make any changes to my original document here. But now if I switch into any of these other visualizations, these digital ones, you'll notice that high contrast white on black reflected. So I'm gonna switch back to column. Column. And there you go, you'll notice that now my high contrast mode that I chose is now reflected in all of my digitized views. Um, or again, if I was on the original image like this, image. I can choose any of these color modes that I have available or invert those color modes as well. Okay, so that's the basic of the basics of the Readit software. Um, I did want to say one more thing before I move on, and that's just that you can export anything that you've uh, made inside here or scanned inside rather. Um, all of these documents that you scan in can also be exported to Microsoft Word. They can be exported to an MP3 file, a PDF, a text file. So anything you scan in here, you could also you could save as an OCR Readit file together with your notes, or you can export to a whole bunch of different accessible file formats, which is a really, really handy feature. Okay, well that does it for our read it area. Let's go ahead and step back out to FaceTime. All right, everybody, that does it today for the read it air. Um, if you'd like more information about the read it air, make sure to visit us on our website at www.iree-at.com. Also, if you're interested, the read it air does have kind of a big brother type unit, which is a little bit bigger, can scan bigger pieces of paper at one time. It can also do distance view OCR using the same read it software you use with read it air. Uh, we do have a video up on our YouTube channel about that, so make sure to check that out on iRee's channel, or you can also find that on our website as well. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.